For many people, IELTS is a better choice. This is because it covers more countries and provides you with a better understanding of complex English. On the other hand, for healthcare professionals, OET is considered as a better option because it uses profession-specific content. Both the IELTS and OET exams are accepted by the GMC and the NMC. However, OET tests your ability to communicate in English in a healthcare setting, whereas the IELTS tests your overall ability to communicate in the English language. Furthermore, OET is designed specifically for 12 healthcare professionals, including dentistry, occupational therapy, veterinary science, speech pathology, dietetics, medicine, nursing, radiotherapy, physiotherapy, pharmacy, pharmacy I'm sorry, podiatry and optometry. Although there are a few rumors that OET is easier to pass than IELTS academic, this is not true. The level required from each examination by regulatory authorities in the UK is the same. This rumor seems to have appeared because many healthcare professionals who sat OET passed first time. This was not because the test is easier, it was because it assessed the skills that they were more familiar with. For example, let's look at the writing paper. When was the last time you wrote an academic essay in English? Compared to the last time you wrote a letter of referral, like you do it for the OET writing, OET assesses the skills you already use in the healthcare profession and evaluates how well you can communicate these skills in English. Here are the similarities. Both exams contain four subtests reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Students receive a greater score rather than pass or fail. For example, the General Medical Council GMC in the UK requires doctors to score B in OET with a B in each separate paper or an IELTS score of 7.5 with a minimum score of 7 in each paper. Both a 7 in IELTS and B on the OET is considered C1 or advanced level of English by the common European framework of reference. Here are the differences. Content. The IELTS exam generally tests academic English, whereas the OET tests your knowledge of medical English. This includes your ability to understand patients, conduct medical consultations, and write discharge and referral letters. Varieties. While there are two versions of the IELTS exam, that is, academic and general training, there are 12 versions of the OET for different healthcare professionals, like how we just mentioned be it nurses, doctors, dentists, pharmacists, optometrists, podiatrists, occupational therapists, vets, speech pathologists, dietitians, physiotherapists, and radiographers. Next comes grading. IELTS is marked out of 9 with a separate score for each paper. OET is marked from A to E with an accompanying numerical score to show your precise grade. Recognition. OET is recognized by healthcare regulatory bodies in the UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Dubai, Ukraine, and Namibia. Meanwhile, IELTS is recognized by universities, healthcare regulatory bodies, immigration authorities, and companies across the world. Now, you could ask a question. As a healthcare professional, which test should I choose? All right. Well, this depends upon what topic seems simple to you. For instance, if you are well versed with healthcare topics, you may find OET simpler. On the other hand, if you are proficient in English and find general topics simple, IELTS is a perfect test for you. Good luck.